Oh, <laughs> drop take, take two. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to One Day Eats. Uh, thank you for uh, catching us on our channel again. And today we are actually at uh, Kuantan, uh, the coastal city of uh, in the east coast. Actually, it's one of the, if I'm not mistaken, is the largest population in terms of the city in the east coast. And uh, today, we, uh, Kuantan is actually very very popular for their beaches, for their uh, waterfalls, and of course their, for their food as well. And that's exactly what we're here for. And uh, so we're here going to explore the, basically about six to eight, hopefully, if time permits, uh, top rated uh, restaurants and dishes uh, in Kuantan. And uh, we'll be going through that. Actually, how we uh, collate all of these uh, places is because from TripAdvisor rating and also Google ratings. And uh, if time permits, we'll go through all of them. If not, I'll list all the 10 below in the description as well. So please do check them out because they are all of them are actually very highly rated so they are fantastic in their own right and uh, the, the reason why I keep mentioning we is because I have a very special guest on this trip for this food tour and he's uh, a dear friend of mine and it's none other than Darren right here <laughs> yeah so uh, at the end of the trip Darren we are gonna check out all these places and uh, both of us are gonna uh, basically um, pick our favorites uh, meal of this food tour Definitely. and um, also probably uh, a runners up uh, yeah, yeah why not I, yeah. I'm really looking forward to exploring the food of this city yeah I do love my Malaysian food and uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can see from both of our tummies actually yeah as yeah. soon as I'm back in KL I'm back on the diet yes <laughs> all right so uh, we shall be heading to our first place later uh, which is actually for breakfast and uh, it's a curry house so I um, can't wait to take him there and it's been very interesting to see his perspective on the food, especially the local ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looking so, forward to it. It should be good. Yep. Alright. So stay tuned and we're gonna head off to our first place right about now. Let's go and explore. And yeah! <laughs> So our first stop of the food tour in Kuantan is actually at Alif Curry House. As you can see the signboard from the above. So uh, we're gonna head on in and um, order some of the breakfast because we're here for breakfast. And um, uh, this place is well known for their banana leaf as well and uh, the southern Indian food which is highly rated on uh, Google. And uh, I can't wait to try out the breakfast together with Darren. He's already inside. And the beautiful part of this, this place is by the, for the moment you walk in, you can smell the aroma, the curry, it just whacks you and oh my god, it's fantastic. What we ordered is actually a puri here, the roti tissue, and the uh, tosai planta. Right, so simple meal to kick start the day. Wow. Here's some of the sauce here. You want to share uh, some meat with me? Yeah, sure. We ordered a plate of lamb curry, masala curry, and this is the chicken. Have you tried? Yeah, very oh. good. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so yeah. very succulent. <laughs> yeah, I, it didn't take me two seconds to jump into it. <laughs> All right, my turn. Nice big chunks as well. Yeah. Good to bite it. My God. Heaven. Oh, man. <laughs> man, the lamb. That is so good. Yeah, man. Alright, that's the end of our first meal in Kuantan. 
Look at that face there. I am satisfied, full. right? <laughs> satisfied. Yeah. All right. Definitely. Okay. Love that. So we'll see how this stacks up to the rest of the places we try on this trip. Right? I think this is going to take some beats. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. All right. So on to our next place. And for our second stop, we're at the Kula Cakes which is made famous by Lila Wadi restaurant but unfortunately we are not going there it's because um, uh, the main thing they are famous for is actually their mango cheesecakes and they actually opened a cheesecake shop for that and so here we are trying it out so Darren already got a space in the cafe and I'm gonna line up and buy the cakes now So, let's see what this fuss is all about, shall we? Yeah, huge queue. Wow, queues. the queue is tremendously long, yes. Yeah, crazy. Oh. Some mango on it. Yeah. Some syrup, mango syrup as well, I can see. Right, go Here for it, go. man. Oh. <laughs> Drop take, take two. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Did it change your world? <laughs> the mango is so fresh. Really? Mm. Alright. Oh man, that's so good. Really? Wow. Okay, now I gotta try. Nice. Yes, YouTube is great. <laughs> Good. <laughs> First impressions. Yeah, you're absolutely right about the mango. <laughs> wow. Really fresh, isn't it? Mm. I was not expecting that. Wow. So is it worth waiting for it in the line? I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Probably should come earlier then. Yeah, uh, somebody said to me you best get in early in the morning. Yeah. Mm. It's definitely the freshness of the mango that makes it over the top. Really, really good. Wow. Okay, now this is also going to be hard to top. <laughs> <laughs> We've eaten it both places now. It's really good. Woo! So, Darren, how was the cheesecake? Amazing. Perfect. Really, right? 10 out of 10. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so is your tummy ready for the next location? It's full, but I'm sure to squeeze some more in. Alright, <laughs> so we are going to the third location of the day. Let's go. Let's go. So we are at the third location, which is Alo Akar Seafood Restaurant. And actually this is the only place that is uh, non-halal in our list. This place is very, very popular for especially their uh, herbal chicken and their baggage chicken. Uh, also the yam ring with pork, sweet and sour pork. Oh man, that was amazing the last time I had it. So, uh, we are very early because this place is usually very, very crowded until late at night. So right now it's about 5.30 and we are going to have an early dinner. And then um, Darren is already seated inside. We really place our order and just waiting for the food to arrive. Alright, so we are at Alo Akar uh, Seafood Restaurant. We already made the, the order earlier. Uh, we ordered four dishes: the yam ring, we ordered with uh, sweet and sour pork. We ordered the uh, uh, three vegetables and uh, uh, three mixed vegetables. Sorry, and we ordered the salted egg cuttlefish, was which was uh, Darren's choice. Sounds really delicious. Yeah, sounds so delicious. And the last but not least is actually their signature dish, which is the uh, salted fish tofu. All right, so luckily I got all that right. So that's the four <laughs> we're having this evening. And I uh, can't wait to share that with you guys when the food arrives, okay? And all of that for me is my first time eating all of those dishes. Really? Yeah. Well, so it's the first go. time for everything. Yeah. All right, the food is here. Well, at least half of it is here. <laughs> but it's staring this, us in the face and it's, we are so hungry. Actually. This just looks incredible. Yeah, exactly. So this is the, the salted egg tofu. I'm just gonna hold it up. Ah, focus. <laughs> Love it. Right. 
This is the yam ring with the sweet and sour pork. Okay. As mentioned, this is the only non-halal uh, location in this food tour. So, and uh, basically there's fried vermicelli to give it a nice crunch to the bite. So, so this is the, the outer part mm. of the dish. What is the, This what is yam. It? Yam. yam ring, yes. Yam. So yam it's ring. supposed, if by the looks of it, I think they cooked it right because it's supposed to be crispy on the outside. Right. right. And they just brought the salted egg cuttlefish. Well, that looks extremely well coated. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna have to do an Instagram. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. So, Instagram first before we eat. Yeah. yeah if you follow me on Instagram, then you're yeah. gonna behind the scenes. All his links gonna be below. So, <laughs> in the description, check him out. Follow him. Oh! Ooh. A bit wow. of a spice kick as well. Yes, yes. And I like how the, the, the outer crust, you can taste the, the salted fish rubbed into it, so yeah. to speak. Wow, it's fantastic. All right. So this one, we'll see whether Darren loves the, the texture. Nice. Six and a half hours later. Nice flavor. Yeah. Very chewy. Yeah, very chewy, exactly. But the flavor is. Mm, really nice. Alright, so here's the vegetables. So you see long beans, you see lady fingers, and uh, stinky beans as well. Alright, so. Stinky beans? Oh man, stinky beans is great. The pork is so nice. Yeah. To be honest, it can't beat the mutton this morning. Adam? It can't beat the mutton yet this morning. <laughs> No, I really feel that that, that lamb is going to take some yeah. beating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But overall, as a combination, I think it's a great mm, dish. Yeah. yeah. So you are in um, Kuantan and you want to come here and try it out, make sure you come early. Like us, I think we arrive about, yeah, uh, about just 10, 10 to 6. Yeah. 10 to 6, yeah. yeah. Oh, the cuttlefish. <laughs> cuttlefish good? Oh man, it's real good. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's so <laughs> That is amazing. Mm. Mm. My favorite favorite dish so far here. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. I'm, I'm, nice. I'm just so busy yeah. sucking into it. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Three yeah. meals so far, all three is very good. Yeah, very yeah? good, yeah. In their own way, fantastic meals. All right, our first part of the day is for breakfast at restaurant Huiyin. Oh, we're here to try their curry mee and uh, it's halal. So let's head on in. As you can see, Darren is right there. The food has arrived. Look at this succulent, tender chicken. The tofu. Uh, and this is not tofu, sorry, this is the binker. So, and some fish cakes in there, or well, you can see in the creamy broth. So we are supposed to put uh, the chili here, uh, based on your liking. So this table is pretty small. So it smells delicious. Is it? Smells it. I've eaten it. Yeah. <laughs> Chopstick time. <laughs> A 
curry noodles. Very creamy. Lovely. Yeah. And I gotta say, this is extremely good as well. Coffee. <laughs> Yeah, waking us up in the morning. Oh man. So you have noodles. I'm not sure whether they serve with uh, vermicelli, which you can request for. Yeah. And then uh, put a little bit of uh, the sauce. Noodles in. Bean curd. There's a huge crowd outside, and uh, we are right about nine. Uh, so I think if you come earlier, it should be even better. Guess whose balls are this? That's actually Darren. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? He yes. enjoys the curry so so much. Right. So that was delicious. So if the is the rating for this place worthwhile? Is I, I don't want to give everywhere a ten. Yeah, exactly right. Me too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, the food was definitely a 10. Yeah. Not fair too strong for me, okay. but the, the curry me, definitely yeah, a 10. Alright, so we're at our second destination, which is Akop Patin restaurant. Now, they are famous for the uh, patin fish, especially with uh, the durian uh, infused uh, gravy. Uh, and also, uh, very excited to bring Darren here. He's actually right there, checking in. So. Let's head on in. I can smell the durian from here actually. Look at this. Authentic East Coast dishes. This looks like it's coconut. Oh man, so many things I want to try. This is what we are here for. Okay. Okay. Uh, biscuit, eh? Thank you. Oh, thank you. You can come here. This is the patin fish in the, the Bayas gravy sauce or durian sauce. Uh, basically, it's silver catfish, and we ordered for the tail so that it's, it's, it's uh, smoother in terms of the meat. Although it's uh, less meat, I guess. And here we have their famed uh, uh, black spicy uh, sauce. That's what she said. It's made of blimbing fruit. Okay, that one I need to Google what blimbing fruit is. No, no, I totally forgot as well. Okay. And this is what I got for myself. Just some accompaniment just to enjoy with the fish. And Darren got a uh, lot of eggs, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> I have no it's idea what I was putting on the plate. I just, I, oh, that looks nice. It's yeah, weird. yeah. There are a lot of choices here. Yeah. Uh, you just have to pick whatever you want and uh, order the main dish, which is this one. And you get to choose between the, the, the head meat, uh, the tail, or the body. So as the lady explained earlier, and on the table you find all these desserts, uh, sweet desserts. We'll definitely try it at the end. All right, let's dig in. Definitely add the gravy. I'm so excited. So so excited. Feel some of the fish. Oh, look at that. It's so tender. Yeah, it looks tender. So I'm going to try one without the sauce and one with. Good. You see a lot of. No, it's no good, Darren. It's no good. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it for me. <laughs> wow. This is awesome as well. Okay, I'm gonna try that with the egg. 
because the this gravy is quite profound yeah. and it just drowns out everything else. Mm. Oh man. That's very very good. My first time. First bite mm. as well. It's actually very subtle, right? The yeah. It's not as and overpowering. The, the, um, the actual sauce is not overpowering. It's, it's, it's tasty, but yeah. It's a nice pint of durian. Mm. It's very nice. Yeah. So we are halfway through the fish. Food coma time. Yeah. So it's the end of our meal. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish this. <laughs> This definitely we're gonna take back because it's all packed. So, how was your meal? It was delicious. delicious. I am so full that I'm yeah. going into a, a food coma. In the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, we tried this as well. Uh, I believe it's quite a quiet taste for me, I think. Uh, but it's, it's very, very sweet. Yeah. All right, here we are for early dinner at Sate Zul. Another must-come destination in when you're in Kuantan. So this one, Darren is very looking forward to it. And uh, he already entered, in fact, and uh, finding a table. So let's head on in and join him. Hi, Darren. Hello. <laughs> Take it to my nice table. Yeah, nice view. Yeah. <laughs> but the traffic's pretty bad today. Yeah, it is. And then we have the umpit, the condiments, and satay sauce. Look at how thick and peanutty it is. Alright. And this is for their chicken, lamb, lamb here, and beef. Right, so they have rabbit as well and the other inlets which are not interested. So we just ordered this tree and uh, we're going to test it out. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, more importantly it smells amazing. So we have the chicken here, this is the beef and this is the lamb. As he mentioned because the lamb is coloured in green, mm. the tip. Wow, look at how amazing this is. Wow. So we also ordered the nasi lemak for who else but Darren. I wasn't expecting this, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Alright. Enjoy. Thank you. I think it will go very, very well with the satay. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got to try with, i got to start with the lamb. Yeah. Here we go. Let's look at that. Look at that. Wowzers. <laughs> if this is tender, I'm gonna be on cloud nine. Feeding me. Wow. I'm gonna go with a chicken. Peanut sauce. It's fantastic. How is it? Very nice, tender. Yeah. Not too chewy. The sauce is lovely. There's something about the peanut sauce. It's, it just complements the meat very, very well. Really, really good as well. One thing to note, of course, is actually uh, their, their uh, what's that, cucumber and onions are, are paid separately. So you have to order them separately, not usually when you get when you order satay elsewhere. You 
usually just accompany the dish, but here you have all this separately. And um, if you want with a nasi and as well, uh, you can add on that as well. It comes with the cucumber and onions. Together with the satay sauce, and that's all the winner. So good. So we are the final stop of the trip, <laughs> Ana Ikan Baka. Uh, right now, as you can see, we just got off the grab, and the amount of crowd is massive. Popular place. Very popular. So we're just gonna go in and try their most famous uh, Ikan Bari Baka, and that's it. I think both of our tummies can't fit much in there anymore. So let's go check it out. Alright, so we have to put an order here. So they have the cuttlefish, prawns, and different types of fishes. Prices are listed though, that's all pretty straightforward. Let's take one of this. The curry. Stingray. Let's get that bad boy. Alright, so we just finished ordering. We have to line up outside uh, to pick our own uh, seafood and uh, whichever fish that you want. Uh, well, with your own bare hands as well. And then uh, once you selected all your seafood, you just walk, line up to the counter and uh, inform them of your table number. And that's all. They so still write it down and uh, you come back, sit at the table and wait for them to. Uh, deliver the cooked seafood. This should be our very last meal. It should be, it should be. Uh, I know Darren is stressing out, but uh, uh, <laughs> chewy. Yeah, but uh, we are excited to share this with you because it's extremely popular. There's so many people here. They have another outlet right at the bank, and the line was massively long. All right, finally, the fish has arrived. The stingray is. Still, as still quite big. I thought it would be smaller than that after they <laughs> cooked it, but no, it's still the size <laughs> size of a shark. Yeah, <laughs> okay, maybe not a shark, but yeah, humongous. <laughs> oh man, look at that! Wow, I can. The smells coming yeah. off it. It's huge. It's burn. This is stingray. Yeah, this is stingray. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna try it without any of the accompanying sauce. You mm, can smell the burnt sambal. Try the sauce. Little bite there. But well, I must say, the sambal is very, very tasty. And, but more importantly, I think the fish is cooked extremely well. So, uh, nicely done. Ooh. Weather? Yeah, much better without it. Um, now you show me how to cut it complex. There's no bones, it's so much easier yeah. to eat, but I'm just trying to get the taste of the sambal. It's definitely a more sour kind of. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting it to be very, very overpowering, but it's really not. No. 
No, it's quite uh, mild. All right, so for our very, very final place, we're at Restaurant Dol Dala. Okay, they are famed for their hummus. Actually, I'm not sure how can a restaurant be so well known for just a hummus dish. We'll find out soon enough. And also for their nasi arab, which is probably kapsa lamb or mandi lamb or chicken. And uh, we'll find out soon enough. So this is their menu, Restaurant Dala in Kuantan. have uh, a lot of Middle Eastern uh, choices, dishes, especially look at the, the rice selections. Okay, so we ordered the kapsa lamb and we ordered the hummus which and also the mixed kebabs. I, we, I think it's enough but uh, we'll see. All right? One thing to note, I think the prices are reasonable and uh, the selection looks extremely delicious, very authentic as well. And the hummus as well is already here. Look at how well coated this is. Oh man, can't wait to dig in. And they just have some uh, sauces. So I believe this is the pickled tomatoes, which is one of my favorite. Yeah, this should be a dal. And I hope they serve roti with this. If not, they'll order some. Oh, look at this buried treasure. <laughs> Okay, the lamb right below the cup salad. Okay, we're gonna carve this up and share between Darren and myself. Or maybe more Daryl than Darren. <laughs> we'll see. Looks <laughs> nice. But wow, look at those lamb. So tender. It's just the smell wow. is incredible. Wow, amazing. I don't okay. know how many times I've said incredible. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Overuse in this it's food yeah. tour, yeah. I saw some star anise, but that's it. Thank oh, you. the bread. Look at this bread. Look at how tender this fella is. My goodness. It's going to be camera. No worries. Melts in your mouth. Here's the fork. Mix it up. Oh, I'm not blocking the shot. Dig it in. Dig it in. Yeah. More. Oh. That's it. That's it. That's it, baby. <laughs> Why aren't just you speaking? <laughs> I'm just doing food. Everyone right now. So, so good. So good, the flavours are really nice today. Yeah, yeah. Falafel and a little bit of hummus at the end. And this pickled uh, veg is actually, they, they douse it with uh, mint. And it's very refreshing. Uh, but overall, the meal here is fantabulous. Um, the hummus was really the star as well because the bread and the combination was awesome. And uh, even when we were just talking, even a simple thing as a price, they get it right. So, fantastic. Uh, so, I guess this is it. But out from Kuantan, this is our last one. And uh, this is a great last one as well. Sorry, I'm full. I'm full. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was really good. The rice was good. All of it was yeah, good. Yeah, everything was good. I'm not going to say the word incredible again. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. You come here and try the hummus. It's really fantastic. Alright, so we've come to the very end of our food tour. And uh, we actually just checked out. Uh, we are at the hotel. And uh, we're just going to do a little bit of wrap up to see uh, how each of us thought of this uh, food tour that we got ourselves on for the past two days. Two and a half days, really. Yeah. So, um, for myself, I think, firstly, all the places that we've been to, they are all great in their own right. Would you agree? I would agree. I would yeah. think each place, it's difficult to pick one particular place. 
uh, because there was dishes from each that were really delicious. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and also, we didn't. We, are, we were not able to go to everyone that I've shortlisted, uh, but I'll add it in the description below. Do check them out as well. Even though we technically we didn't get to enjoy them, but I'm sure they're delightful and delicious as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Food comers. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> very very hard for both of us to sleep actually. Wow. Yeah. We're so full each night. I, th I think the good thing about this video is if somebody's coming to Kuantan and these are the perfect places to check out your first time here if you're right. like a tourist or even domestic car when we do have tourism in the future yeah. back yeah. in the country so it's a it's a really good list of places to eat in the city yep exactly so I guess now the golden question is so out of all the places we've been which one is your ultimate favorite and which one is your second it's, it's tough because it's very close, but I would say the cuttlefish was my number one. Okay. And that's the first time I've eaten cuttlefish, just right. the taste and the texture, and it was, it was amazing. Yep. And then number two would have to be the roti and the lamb. The lamb, all right. The so, lamb was incredible. Yep, incredible indeed. Uh, so, uh, to recap, um, for Darren, actually the first one would be Alo Akar, uh, right. seafood restaurant. And because of the salted cuttlefish, which is really, really fantastic, so well put it. And um, so, and the second one would be um, the curry house, yeah. Yeah, so Alif curry Alif, house. Alif yeah. curry house, actually. Wow, you remember better than me. <laughs> I remember yeah. it because wow. of the because of the lamb. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so uh, actually, that would be my first actually the, for Alif curry house. Uh, actually, when I was uh, setting up the list. Um, Initially, my thoughts, I don't think uh, the a curry house would actually be, be surprising to me. Yeah. But uh, they really did. I think the amount of spices they packed into that lamb, I think it is fantastic. It's just yeah, a star. Yeah, it's flavors. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And also, when the moment both of us walked into Ali Curry House, we were like, bam! The, the smell of the curry. I've never been into a, a restaurant before and had that kind of impact of yeah. smell as soon as you walk in. It yeah. was it yeah. was incredible. Yeah, amazing, amazing. And uh, second for me would actually be Satay Zulu actually. So I think um, the, 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 all the, the meats were grilled tenderly and uh, marinated very well. And the peanut sauce was uh, fantastic. It's just a nice balance of sweetness and spiciness. So uh, yeah, I think and that was a very, very good meal as well. And I really enjoyed the satay. They had the, a little bit of the nasi lemak, which was good. <laughs> the sambal sauce was yeah. quite powerful, yeah, but very, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So. I feel, it, I, feel, yeah, I, feel yeah. I feel literally <laughs> energy levels is like food coma yeah, levels yeah, still yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah I, I can say if you come into the city for the first time definitely check these places out yeah. even the ones that we we didn't get to yeah, I'm sure right. but based on the places we did go to they were they were really good choices so well done you for, for choosing those places yeah, thanks for joining me as no well no problem it was good fun I don't think I would have been able to finish <laughs> any of them by myself firstly <laughs> Uh, so it's great to have him along uh, with me and uh, for this video and I thank him a lot uh, for doing that. So um, I guess that's it from Kuantan, that's it from uh, our Tamini. Uh, to check out now. Yeah, I definitely can't be eating for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go vegetarian diet for a while. So yeah, um, uh, do consider subscribing to our channel and uh, do subscribe to this as well. I'll share links in the <laughs> thank description you. below. And I guess that's it. Yeah. See you soon. Bye, guys.